So George, hundreds are becoming a norm for you now in the Cobras kit, eh? <laughs> yeah, obviously it's always nice scoring 100 for, for the Cobras. Um, it's always a special feeling when it's at Newlands as well. Um, so yeah, it was it was nice betting with uh, Cal. Obviously, yeah. he makes things look easy, and um, yeah, I was I was glad to to be able to bet with him. It's always nice to obviously see Proteus play against Proteus. We've got Andrej Nokia obviously on the other end. What is it like to face him on, in these type of conditions? Yeah, obviously, it's it's always challenging facing facing him. Uh, he's got some some speed, but uh, yeah, it was actually nice facing him. Uh, it was challenging at times. So uh, yeah, it was it was it was nice. So you talk about Cal. I mean, obviously you're watching it at the end because of friends for a long time as well. To see him perform the way he has performed today, specifically getting this, this double century. And what was it like to bet with him? And how important is the partnership? Yeah, obviously it was a, it was a big partnership um, between me and him. Yeah, and um, obviously he's come a long way with his game. Um, I think he's definitely knocking on that door for Test Match Cricket where I feel, well, I feel he should, he's knocking the door down. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, he's just a quality player. Um, always love watching him get runs. Uh, always looks so easy. So yeah, it's nice. Can I just ask you about the CSA 220 challenge as well a little bit? Yeah. Um, what that was like um, playing in Durban. The wicket, was it conducive for, for more for you guys, for spinners, etc.? Yeah, I feel it was definitely. Because um, if you look at the if you look at the games, the bar score was 150, mm -hmm. and obviously the slower bowlers did get into into the game a lot. Um, we don't normally see spinners bowl three to four overs of spin in the power play, so it just shows you it was difficult to to put the spin away. Um, but it was a nice challenge to be honest, because um, it's not something you used to. You used to very good wickets at the T20 level and um, that was it was a good challenge for, for all the teams I would, I would think. And the experience in Pakistan being in the Bible over there I mean it's not a lot of people get the opportunity to go tour there. Yeah it was it was it was quite nice to be honest. Um, also it is tough in a bubble it's it's not yeah. easy um, but yeah just being able to play test cricket or uh, unfortunately I didn't play in the T20s but yeah, it was still, it's always nice being around the international setup. Um, yeah, yeah, that's all I can say. What sort of things did you guys get up to in the bubble? Eating, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, well, obviously eat. Um, yeah, we played, we played cards, play PlayStation, Xbox, or whatever, you, uh, whatever the guys play. Um, yeah, just being around the guys is like learning about each other and stuff because obviously I'm still new to the to the setup yeah. so for me it's nice to be around all of the guys. Can you give a little bit of insight into Dean Alga as your new test captain of course? I mean what is he like in the dressing room? Do you feel okay I'm not gonna ask you if it's the right choice or not but what's Dean like? <laughs> yeah obviously he's a, he's a good he's a good guy um, I think he's he's the perfect guy for the job um, Obviously, he's a strict guy, but also he can be a fun guy off the field. So at least you know where you stand with him. And obviously, he's got high standards. And I think it's a good thing for cricket South Africa.